Have you ever grabbed a candy bar at the grocery store's checkout almost without thinking about it? Well, actually, that's never happened to me, probably never happened to you. But how about going to a nice steakhouse and the waiter asks if you want to add some sautéed mushrooms to your steak and you instantly say yes without even thinking about it almost on impulse. That's what an order bump is in action in the real world. Now imagine adding that same irresistible boost to your online store, instantly increasing your sales without any extra effort. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a checkout and there's this fancy chair here. And here is the first order bump. It's an extended warranty. Now as a buyer, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, I get to this is get 50% off this. I'm going to save a hundred dollars. It's pretty irresistible. And all I need to do is check this box one time and it's instantly added to my checkout. And now I'm saving money. But did you notice what happened right after I checked that box, two additional order bumps appeared and it's the same. I can see the savings. I've got some information here, protect my floor and save $30 right now. That's a big savings. And all I'm going to do is check that box again. Who doesn't want to save money? This is a targeted order bump and series of order bumps that only appear when this chair is in the checkout. Next, you jump over to your Pulse dashboard in the reporting and you'll see for this Pulse dashboard here in the middle, I set this to display order bumps and I'm going to see order bumps accepted, how many times it was offered, net sales. I can even see the acceptance rate like this. Now, this is all test data. That's why you're not seeing it filled out. But I can click on this and get full featured reports so I know exactly what's working and exactly what people are buying. Hey, it's Adam from SureCard. And if you're running an e-commerce store or a side hustle and you want every sale that comes through your store to count, today I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to boost revenue without complicated tech or pushy tactics. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. First, we're going to go over what's an order bump and why does it matter? Then we're going to go over some real examples of what you can sell as an order bump inside of your store. Then we're going to look at some of the order bump best practices and then the unique features SureCard brings for selling order bumps. And I showed some of those a second ago. And then I'm going to show you step by step how you can set up and monitor your own order bumps in your store. So what exactly is an order bump? Picture this, your customer is ready to buy and right before they check out, you offer them a quick add on something that's relevant to what they're purchasing. It's valuable and it's just easy to say yes to. They just tick a box and boom, it's instantly added to their order, generating more revenue for you and for your store. Order bumps are powerful because they're all about timing and convenience. Your customer is already in a buying mood. So a well-placed offer like a bonus guide, a warranty, or a special discount feels like a no brainer at that point. And the best part is order bumps can increase your average order value by 30% or more with almost no extra work on your part. Now, if you're not sure what to offer as an order bump, don't worry about it. Here are some ideas. If you're selling a course, you can offer a cheat sheet or a workbook or a bonus mini training. If you're selling physical products, why not add some accessories or extended warranties like I showed and I showed some accessories as well or some priority shipping. For digital goods, you can think templates and an audio version or exclusive community access. And this also works with services as well. You can tack on a service. So it could be some setup help or some strategy calls or some members only posts but the key is to keep it relevant keep it affordable and easy to understand in just a sentence or two now let's talk about how to make your order bumps truly effective first you want to keep your offer simple and relevant. The best order bumps are easy to understand just at a glance. 
think one or two sentences maximum. If your customer has to stop and think, you're just gonna lose them. Next, you wanna price it right. Order bumps work best when they feel like a no-brainer add-on, and usually that means a good price. So typically that means to price them lower than the main product that they're buying in the first place, often 10 to 30% of the main offer. But if you have a second product that's just as valuable as the first one, matching the main price can also work as well. You just want to try it and test it and look at your stats. But whatever you do, don't overload the checkout. While Surecart lets you add multiple order bumps, two or three is usually that sweet spot. You really don't want to overdo it. Too many choices can instantly overwhelm and cause analysis paralysis or paralysis analysis. You don't want that for your customers because it's going to just totally crush the conversions of your order bump and maybe even your store. So you want to use clear benefit driven copy, highlight what makes the bump valuable, such as get the workbook for just $9 or add priority support for just $15. If there's a discount, you definitely want to mention that right away in the title. And finally, you want to test and you want to tweak. Don't just launch the order bumps and not look at the reports later. That's where the Surecart Pulse dashboard that I showed in the beginning of the video comes in to see exactly what's working. And you can try different offers, different prices, and different copy to find out what is resonating with the people that are shopping inside of your store. So follow these best practices and your order bumps will feel helpful, not pushy, while giving your revenue a healthy boost at the same time. Now let's talk about what makes Surecart's order bumps feature unique and extra effective. First, you can add order bumps to any of your checkout forms. Surecart has three different checkout forms, the store checkout, the instant checkout form, as well as you can create custom checkout forms that you place anywhere on your website. Order Bumps works with all of these. So that means flexibility no matter how you sell. Next, you're not limited, as you saw in my early demo, to just one order bump. Want to offer two or three order bumps? you can absolutely go for it. Surecart lets you stack multiple order bumps in a single checkout so your customers can pick exactly what they want. And the placement of the order bump is flexible too, except when you're using the instant checkout. So you can place the order bump wherever you want in your checkout page layout. So if you want to have it appear above the payment fields, you can do that. If you want it to be below the order summary, as I showed earlier, you can do that too. It's completely up to you. But now here is where Surecart gets really smart. These order bumps have a rules-based display that lets you target order bumps based on what your customer is buying. So that's where that relevancy comes in. You can also make one order bump appear only if another is accepted. I actually showed that where I checked on the extended warranty and then two more order bumps appeared. And this is perfect for building mini offers that make sense to have them all be offered together. And of course, you get full stats dashboard, that Pulse dashboard that I showed you in the reports. You get all of that so you can always pay attention to what's working and constantly tweak. So you're never left in the dark and you can improve over time. Are you ready to set up your first order bump? Here's how to do it. Step one, you want to create a product unless you already have an idea of a product existing in your store that you want to be the order bump. So here are my products and you can see I added this 10 year extended warranty product right here. Now you would set this up as you would any other product, give it a name, give it a description, give it a price and configure everything the way that you want it configured. But I want to point out one option over here. So it's where it says publishing over here on the right and it says product page. And when you click on this, you have the option to not publish a product page 
for this product. So if you're creating a product that you only want to be available as an order bump and you don't want it to be on your shop page, you can come here, click on product page and put that product into draft mode. And essentially what this means is you can turn it into an order bump, but it won't show when someone's on your shop page looking at all of your products. This is optional if you want to do that and it's entirely up to you. The next step is to click right here where it says order bumps. This will list out the order bumps that you've created. You'll click on add new and then you'll give the bump a name. You can change this name later when we are in all of the settings for this order bump. And then right here, you'll choose what the product is for the order bump. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to choose that 10 year warranty, which is $199. And then I'll click here where it says create. Next, you'll want to scroll to where it says display conditions. And this is where you're going to choose when this order bump is available. So you can have a display for every product in the checkout or only certain products in the checkout or when certain products are not in the checkout. So I'll click right here where it says add a condition and it says a product price or a specific product. So I will choose a product price. I want this to show when someone has that ergonomic office chair in the checkout. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna choose add condition. Now there's one more option here where it says show bump offer if. So this is where I can choose if all these items are in the cart, if any of these items are the car in the cart or none of these items are in the cart. If I set this to none of these items are in the cart, what will end up happening is if the chair is in the cart, then this order bump will not display. That would mean it would show for all the other products inside of the store. So I'm going to choose any of these and you can add multiple conditions. So I have it for this office chair, but if I wanted to add an additional product from the store, I can easily do that here. Then the next thing we want to choose is the discount. You don't have to have a discount by the way, but it's nice to have a discount. That's part of making it a no brainer offer. So you can choose it to be a percentage or a fixed discount. I'm going to choose $100. Now, these next two options here are optional. So let me show you. For this order bump here that I showed in the beginning of the video, I don't have those two extra bits of information and that's why it appears very compact like this. But when I select this, the other two order bumps, I did add some additional information to the order bump. So this right here is the call to action. And this right here appears when you add a description right here. So if you add a description, it's going to display the bump name and then the description and then the image as you see right here. So it's optional depending on what you're offering. So for the bump description, this is where you want to keep it brief. You don't have a lot of space here and you don't want it to be overwhelming and require a lot of thought, but this is where you're going to add some additional description to the product. I like to make these benefit driven and I like to just go to an AI model, tell it a little bit about my product and have it help me. And then while I'm at it, I also have the AI model help me a little bit with writing a custom call to action. This is where you want to mention the discount. If you're offering a discount and this as well, you want to keep brief. And then the last thing you'll want to select is the priority low, medium or high. There's multiple points in here. And what this determines is if you have multiple order bumps, which one is going to show at the top and which one's going to show in the middle and which one's going to show at the bottom. So you see, I have these three order bumps. This has a low priority and this has a medium priority and this has a high priority. This is how you're going to order them. So now let's take a look at this order bump that I've configured. So this is the chair mat discount offer. So you can see where the bumps name displays. You can see down here where the description displays as well as the custom call to action. And this is how you can see the priority which dictated where it shows. Now the way that you stack order bumps, what I mean by that is you make an order bump appear if 
an order bump that's already offered has been accepted is very simple. So for the chair mat, I have this configured to only show if the office chair as well as the warranty is inside of the checkout. So it says all of these items are in the cart. So the moment I check on the box for the order bump for the extended warranty, now these two items are in the cart and it causes this order bump to display. This is how you stack those order bumps if that's what your strategy is. Now let's go over how to dictate or place the order bump where it appears in the layout. By default, the order bumps are gonna appear above this payment element, but you can customize this. So I'm gonna click on edit page and I'm editing the checkout design right now. And I custom placed it right here in this location, but I'm gonna delete it so that you could see exactly what your checkout's gonna look like. It'll just look like this, how it looks on the front end of your store. But what you want to do, if you want to customize where they display, you wanna click on this plus here in the top left. You're gonna to wanna to search for order bump, and here it is. And then you'll just wanna drag and drop this anywhere that you want. So I'm gonna drop it right there. And then when you click on it, you'll see over here on the right, you have two options. You can customize the text label. By default, it will say recommended, but as you know, I changed it to say one-time offer, but you could say add-ons, pairs great with, Whatever you would like for this to say, you can customize it right here. And there was an additional option that it didn't cover, and that is by default with this on, it shows that checkbox. If you turn this off, it doesn't show the checkbox. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me go ahead and save this. Let me go back to the checkout. So if you notice, now the order bump doesn't have that checkbox. Someone can click anywhere on the order bump and that adds it to the cart, but there's no checkbox. That gives you a little bit more space for the content that you're using to entice someone to purchase your order bump. And the last step is to monitor and adjust your order bumps. So once they're live, you wanna keep an eye on the Pulse dashboard so that you can see what's converting and test new offers and keep your sales growing. So when you're looking at your order bumps here, there's two ways to get to the report. The first way is if you're in the screen here, looking at your order bumps on the top right, it says view reports. When you click on this, it's gonna take you straight to the order bump report. Now it's important to note a couple options that you have here. You can view the data by a date range. You can group it by week, month, or year. But then here is an important part. You can choose how you want to view this data. Is it by order bump? Is it by date? You have these options right here. Next, right here is another option to dictate how you view the data. When you click on it, you want to see the accepted order bumps, the offers that were made, the net sales, the acceptance rate or conversion rate. You have these options right here. You simply choose one and then the graph changes and the data changes. Lastly, over here on the right, there's different columns of information that you can add to this view and you can export your data. But of course, don't forget the Pulse dashboard. This is where you have seven different data points and you can choose the exact data you want it to display. For example, I set this right here to bumps. Any of these Pulse dashboards, you can click on the first toggle here and choose what you want to display. So you could choose order bumps if you want that to be the main thing that you're seeing here and then choose what you want here. So if I want to see my net sales, I can go like this. And now at a glance, you can see how much money you've made from your order bumps over the time period that you've configured. So order bumps let you offer quick relevant add-ons right at the checkout boosting your revenue with almost no extra effort, especially though when you use Shortcart's flexible and powerful feature set for order bumps. So if you're ready to unlock more sales from every customer that visits your store, give Shortcart order bumps a try. We want you to see the difference for yourself that the right tools and the right order bumps can make for your store.